you know, it's always exciting to see at the hearing of Matter Books and Frank Warren go at it, you know. And uh, yesterday, Eddie Heron, of course, talked about him and Frank Warren bumping into the shoulder, you know, in the street one time or so. And this is what he had to say, I quote. He told Sky Sport, he said, It's quite a funny story, actually. I came out of a meeting with Sky, with Adam Smith, and I think it was with Bainick Francis. We had just done a, week, uh, we had just done a new Sky deal, and I turned left out of the restaurant, and I was walking down the road. I had my briefcase, and I was obviously quite happy. And I was just going, home the dumb, the dumb. And as I've looked up, 10 yards in front of me is Frank outside a restaurant on the phone. And it was one of those really awkward moments where it was like, do we shake hands? <laughs> he sort of looked at me. I looked at him and I went, wink. All right, Frank, and that was it, and walked off, and that's like the only time we spoke. Frank Warren, of course, responded to that, you know, statement from the end, saying, uh, "I quote: um, I actually do remember standing outside a restaurant in the West, and on the telephone, and he walked along past me. He sort of seemed to go further and further across the pavement as I walked past. He didn't wink at me, that's for sure." There was no winking. I know he's got a reputation of being a winker, but there certainly was not a wink towards me. <laughs> but this guy, the, one of those guys, this guys. I mean, you have to, you have, you've got to love the drama, though. I mean, the competition between Frank Warren and Eddie Heron, bro. Like it is just amazing, bro. At the same time, so, you know, sometimes you know, he. It makes me like I don't know I don't know I don't I don't know like as I'm a boxing fan so in as much as I do like Eddie Heron more because because Eddie Heron seems to be more open minded than Frank Warren but Frank Warren is also very excited and, and funny as well like why do you think Frank Warren and Eddie Heron like I've been having a very very uh, a hard time in uh, in be getting close to each other. Uh, yeah, um, talking about Frank Warren and Eddie Ann. Well, you see, number one thing is this, yeah. First thing I'm going to mention is age-wise. And... The age wise is something that has literally brought competition into it. And that's why, for me, I look at it this way Frank Warren, get your son, get someone younger to get into this thing and sit back. Just the same way Barry Hen did with Eddie Hen. You know, because number one thing is this as at then, obviously. I believe back then is a thing where other promoters are already looking into it like Barry is going to hand over to one of his sons. And it got to a stage, people started realizing Eddie Earn is going to be the one to take you over from the dad. But, and I believe since then they've looked at it like, okay, Eddie, what are you going to do? So they look at it like, okay, you're going to be the one to come into the competition. We're older, we should know more. But in this day, this thing is not done by how long you've been in these things for. And that's why they've been doing it for long. Look at the kind of fighters they've got. See the percentage of money they gain in. Adrian just started not so long. See the kind of fighters he's got. See the percentage of money he's getting in. It's not about how long you've been doing this thing for. Adrian is coming doing things they do not expect and as at them times they look at it like okay if you're gonna be doing take over from your dad it's like what are you really gonna do anyway but looking at what Eddie has been doing since then Eddie has literally been the best promoter since he started it and he's been the one with the best fire and stuff like that and this is gonna bring a lot of kind of emptiness and that's why like the way it is now 
Frank Warren is not the only one, but Baron is there. Uh, I mean, all other promoters are like, you know what, the envious is not there now. Like, come on, man, you can't be the one, you know, pulling all these strings and everything. And they look at it like, we've been in the game before you. We didn't have that kind of thing to do. And which is another thing to let us understand. It's not about how long you've been in the game. Sometimes you need to learn to change strategy. And in terms of strategizing things, you need to get the young ones in it as well. Get them involved. That way you'll be able to do things differently from the way you've done it before. And that way you'll be able to learn, visualize, and see more other things. See, one thing Adrian has been doing now, he's been doing what making live Instagram things with most of his fighters. How many times have you seen Frank Warren being alive with any of his fire? He's, Adrian is getting along with all his fighters. He's not just there as I'm just their promoter. Is there and that's why when they look at you, I remember when AJ had his fight last time and they go, Oh, he did not care about his fight or this and that. That's not true. Adrian has always cared about all his fires. And with this time he showed him more. Look at he goes a live thingy with majority of his fighters. He talks to them live just to know they're doing well, they keep involved, well, they're fine, everything is going on well with them. But how many promoters are doing that now? And with all those things, it's going to bring enviness to it. And that's why the competition is going to grow more. Because now they can look at it and now they've got a youngster promoter who's got all this fight out there. The age gap between them is not something huge in that. And it knows how to carry them all along. You know, all those things are things that 100% will bring, you know, clash between the two. Well, to be honest, there's nothing more to say into that. I mean, I mean, you're looking at the promotional career of both fighters. Why do you think Frank Warrior has like hand over um, the the company to his son? You see, for me, I won't. I don't even know why he chose not to. Maybe the thing where he looks at it like maybe you're not. The son is not well equipped enough. But the same thing with Eddie and other time as well. Barry looked at it like you might not be well equipped enough for this. This is, even though you've been very good in terms of market strategy, but you might not be good in this. This is boxing, it's different. But since Eddie came in, he proved to his dad, like, you know what, I'm actually better than even what you think I was. So those are the things there. So I don't know whatever it is he's thinking of. It's somebody's truth is, if you do one thing about life, is if you don't put one in a position, to do certain things, you don't know how far that person can go. You can look down on me on certain things, but if you don't give me the space and chance, chance and time to do that thing, you don't know how well I can do it. So I don't know if I do not know. I do not know if it's the fear of Frank Warren not trusting his son enough to be able to do it. I don't know if that's the case. Because if that's the case, I mean, looking at it now, Barry Ann is not kicked out. There are times when Eddie Han will be busy. Barrier will carry on with other things to be done. And that way it becomes a lot easier. But this way now, Frank Warren can't be everywhere. If Frank Warren has got things to do in America, he will have to go. If he's got things to do in London, he will have to shuffle himself and that and that. But look at the way Eddie and Barry is now. If Eddie has got anything to do in America, he will go wherever it's going to happen in London. Barry will take over. An example of it is when... Um, who was Dillian going to fight when Barian was the one doing it and Adrian was in America and that's how it's supposed to be I mean I don't know if it's a fear of him thinking maybe he's going to be completely out of the thing but he won't be out I don't know if the thing where he's maybe looking at it like well, I don't think my son is kind of like well it could be done for this but if he does not give him the chance he would not know how far his son can go as well So to be honest, that's just it. If you think about life is give that chance, then you can see. If he's given a chance and the sun ends up flopping, you can be like, okay, fine, we know you've tried the sun and the sun flop, you know, it becomes easier. But you haven't given a chance there yet. Only he knows why he's kind of like being that way. But I feel you need to step back and give yourself time. These people are already in their eighties and that man. Yeah, bro. I mean, maybe he doesn't really he doesn't believe in a song like you know, Barry believed in it here, so it would be. That's it. 
that's pretty much it. It's what it is though. So for those of you guys who are watching right now, make sure you like the video, share, subscribe, and as usual, we give you guys nothing but bangers. Stay blessed, guys. Cheers.